Hi, this is Jeremy again. I thought I'd share another tip from the scanning I've been doing recently. Uh, this time I have a photo that uh, scanned in and you can see that if I zoom in here, there's quite a bit of modeling of real kind of this darkened aged sepia color, but it wasn't evenly across the whole photo. So if we back this back out and fill the screen a little bit, you can see there's all this detail um, you know, that would be very difficult to try and fix by hand. You know, if you were to try and clone stamp that, um, you know, there's a lot of work that would be involved with that. So let's go ahead and fit that back to the screen so you can see. And I found a very quick way to do this is to realize, first of all, that this is, because this is a black and white photo, that works to our advantage. I'm going to add a black and white adjustment layer to this. And you can see that modeling still appears, even though we've pulled all the colored data out. But because the modeling itself was in uh, was really the only color in the image, we can target that with the different color sliders that are here. So I'm going to start at the yellow, which seemed to be the most apparent one there. You can see as I darken that up, it appears more. But if I take it over to the right here and increase the luminosity of that, I can really kind of get in close to the, uh, the tonality of the image itself. Now you can see it's not perfect. There is uh, still some modeling there, so I like to work my way through all the sliders and see what other color uh, might be present in that modeling. As you can see here, as I move the, the red to the extremes back and forth, that that's being, uh, having an impact on the image as well. So we can move that, and this is very much a visual subjective kind of process as you just slide that and see what's going to work. If I grab the green slider, you can see there's really no green information. Nothing's changing in the image. Uh, when we move to the cyan, we can see there's a little bit of that in there. And so what I like to do is move to those extremes, kind of back and forth a little bit until I find where that it almost disappears. Um, obviously having a calibrated monitor helps, uh, being able to see those colors and, and uh, are seeing really no color data here, but seeing the tonality change. So I'm going to move the blue here and then we'll try the magenta. There's really no magenta in that image. So now you can see that uh, really took away most of what that texture was. If I turn off the adjustment layer, you can see before how much of it was there. And then with putting the adjustment layer back on, you can see we've really cleaned that up nicely. So that's a quick tip on uh, removing some of that aged coloration and texture uh, in a scan photo. Hope that helps you out.